Another thing that I can do with the multimeter is to measure the current. So I wonder, for example, how much current is my LED consuming? Now my, both multimeters can measure current. The cheaper multimeter, I will have to tell it approximately how much current I think that the LED is consuming. So at this point, I guess it's about 20 uh, milliamps. I can make a better guess by calculating the current that is flowing through the LED by using Ohm's law, but I'm not going to bother with this for now. I just want to make a guess to begin with of 20 milliamps and see if my guess is correct, if my uh, amp meter will be able to measure this current. Now, in order to measure the current that is flowing through a device, I need to put my multimeter in series with this device. So to do that, I'm going to make a small change to my circuit. I'm going to move my LED so that its anode, the longer pin, is connected to a different column. So I guess that the current here is just a few milliamps, probably less than 10 milliamps. So I'm switching my multimeter to the 20 milliamp range. And I'm just going to connect my probes now. I'm going to connect the red probe closer to the red rail. So I'll just plug it here at the free end of the yellow flat jumper wire. And then the other one on the anode of the LED. And I'm not getting a measurement, perhaps it's too small, so no measurement. Uh, I'm probably at a larger range than what the current is. So I'm going to go down one notch to the microamp, up to 2000 microamp range. And again, my multimeter is not picking up anything. So perhaps this current is uh, a current that the multimeter can't really pick up at this range. Even if I go up a little bit, no. Perhaps I've hit a limitation of this multimeter. So what about my other slightly more expensive Tenma multimeter? So with my with my Tenma multimeter, uh, I need to move the probe, the red probe across to the amperage measurement for milliamps or for microamps so that the two connectors for for current measurements and voltage measurements are separate indicating that the hardware inside this multimeter is optimized for each individual measurement and then i need to move my dial to the microamp setting so that the multimeter is now ready to measure current at that range, the microamp range. So I'm going to plug in my probes in the exact same way that I did for my cheaper multimeter. So black is going to go to the anode and red to the yellow jumper wire. And you can see that we now have a measurement three milliamps is how much current is flowing through the LED. So while I'm holding the probes in connected like that, let's have a look at how the current flows using the conventional theory of current flow. So the current will go into the red power rail, then through my red probe, into the multimeter where it gets measured, then out of the red probe, into the anode of the LED, then it will go out the other side, the cathode of the LED into the resistor, and then through the resistor, it will go through the gray jumper wire and it will sink, as they say, into the uh, blue rail, the ground rail of the breadboard. 
So in this case, you can see that with my older and slightly cheaper multimeter, I was not able to get a measurement of a low milliamp range current. I was able to do so with my slightly more expensive multimeter. So I think it's a sensitivity issue here. Okay, so I'm going to restore my circuit so that the LED is on.